Mortal Kombat is home to some of the most iconic fighting game characters throughout all of video games, but few are as recognizable as the yellow clad ninja Scorpion. He's also one of the series most interesting characters from a lore perspective, so if you are ever curious as to what drives Mortal Kombat's Spectre of Vengeance to burn the flesh off his opponents with his skull head, get over here as we dive deep into the history of Scorpion. Firstly, let's set the stage a bit. Scorpion is an interesting character insofar as, despite being one of the poster boys of Mortal Kombat, his story actually isn't intrinsically tied to the main conflict of Earthrealm and Outworld. It's much more personal. In the world of Mortal Kombat, there are two rival clans, the Shirai Ryu and the Lin Kuei. The Lin Kuei originated somewhere in Northern Asia and are essentially superhuman warriors for hire. At some point, a Japanese Lin Kuei warrior named Takeda no, not the one from Mortal Kombat X, travels to Japan, spreads his knowledge of ninjutsu to the various generals and lords during the feudal era, and forms the very first ninja clan, the Shirai Ryu. Takeda's betrayal of the Lin Kuei to start his own clan immediately puts the two clans at odds, and over time, they would develop an intense rivalry that would come to a head on one fateful day thanks to the schemings of a certain netherrealm sorcerer, Quan Chi. Quan Chi desires to steal a powerful amulet belonging to the elder god Shinnok, but in order to do that, he needs a human to bypass its defenses. So he hires a Lin Kuei warrior named Bi Han, codename Sub-Zero, along with a Shirai Ryu named Hanzo Hasashi, codename Scorpion, just in case Bi Han can't get the job done. Bi Han and Hanzo, unaware that they are both hired by the same man to perform the same job, encounter each other on their quest, fight it out, Sub-Zero wins, and Hanzo is killed. <laughs> Bihan delivers the map detailing the location of Shinnok's amulet, and as payment to the Lin Kuei, Quan Chi massacres the entire Shirai Ryu clan, including Hanzo's wife and son. It's from this point on that the man, Hanzo Hasashi, is dead and gone, and only the Spectre Scorpion remains. Quan Chi manipulates Scorpion in the Netherrealm by telling him that it was, in fact, Sub-Zero who killed his family and clan, and in the next Mortal Kombat tournament, Scorpion manages to finally kill Sub-Zero and get his revenge. Or so he thought. In Mortal Kombat 2, Sub-Zero returns, and thus so too does Scorpion, determined to stamp out his long-hated rival. But upon watching one of Sub-Zero's fights in the tournament, he witnesses something very uncharacteristic of the Sub-Zero he knew. Mercy. Scorpion eventually learns that this Sub-Zero was not Bihan, but actually his brother, Kwai Liang. Whether it was guilt over taking away his brother, a way to atone for murdering out of vengeance, or something else, Scorpion vows to protect this new Sub-Zero, and it's that vow that sets him against Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 3, aligning him with the Earthrealm Warriors. It's at this point where the target of Scorpion's vengeance pretty much changes from game to game. In 4, it's back on Sub-Zero after being tricked into thinking that Sub-Zero actually did kill his wife and child. In Deadly Alliance, ooh, he's real mad at Quan Chi after finally learning the truth surrounding the deaths of his clan and family. Scorpion wins. In Deception, he becomes a champion of the Elder Gods and sets his wrath on whoever they point him to, and in Armageddon, he gets super pissed at the Elder Gods for bringing back the Shirai Ryu as Hellspawn warriors like himself. Then the timeline gets reset with Mortal Kombat 9, and things play out mostly the same. Scorpion enters the Mortal Kombat tournament as a manipulated servant of Quan Chi, kills Bihan, and remains under his control until Raiden resurrects Scorpion's human form, Hanzo Hasashi. Sometime later, Kwai Liang invites Hanzo to the Lin Kuei Palace to finally bury the hatchet between the two. Sub-Zero reveals that it was Quan Chi who massacres the Shirai Ryu, and that he has no ill will over Hanzo killing his brother. The two bow and become friends, bonded together by their own mutual hatred of Quan Chi. Speaking of Quan Chi, he finally gets captured by the Earth's Special Forces, and Hanzo arrives on the scene, prepared to finally get some long sought after revenge on an actual deserving target. And he does, in what's probably the single best scene in Mortal Kombat. You killed my wife, my son, and then you burrowed your way into my head misdirected my vengeance, cost me my one chance to have them restored! Unfortunately, he was too late to stop the resurrection of Shinnok, and proceeds to get beaten by the Elder God, but hey, at least Quan Chi's super dead. And that's where Scorpion's at, leading up to Mortal Kombat 11. 
It's gonna be interesting to see what's in store for Hanzo Asashi in the present timeline now that his vengeance is finally quelled, but as we know, Mortal Kombat 11 deals a lot with time travel, so chances are we won't have to wait long before we see the yellow clad Spectre of Vengeance we know and love. Thanks for watching and for more Mortal Kombat 11, make sure to check out all the recent trailers along with our compilation of every fatality so far. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.